Hey, it's the end of the month, which is banana cream pie. I need to end the video, start again. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Melissa, I'm a writer. This is a monthly recap, which honestly I have not done. Remember in August when I was like, I'm gonna do a monthly recap every month. And then I just like haven't been doing them because November was NaNoWriMo, everything was wild. December I was wrapping up the year, so here we are. And so in these recaps, we talk the reading for the month, we talk the writing for the month, and then any life major updates. This one's gonna be quick because there ain't much to say. <laughs> The writing, let's start there because that's the easiest, honestly. So I'm currently editing. Um, I'm doing a, ugh, what am I even doing? What am I even doing? I'm revising, so I'm doing a copy edit. No, I'm not. I'm doing a revision. What is it called? Nobody cares. Okay, I'm working on Project Groove, which is called The Wedding Season. That's the actual title for it. Well, my title, it might change. It might not. Who knows? The goal with that one, it's an adult thriller. My goal is to query in March. So right now I am fixing some developmental things. It's a couple of scene level things. I'm gonna be so real. The writing this month has been not as great as I had hoped. I think I went from NaNoWriMo where I was just doing so much and I was seeing so much progress and so much, like just so much was happening. And then December, I was really pedal to the metal on copy edits before I sent to beta readers. And January has just been really, it's, I have struggled to get words on the page. Like I have not been waking up when I want to and not been writing when I say I'm going to. And we'll get to the life in a second, but it's partially because of that. It's also just at the stage of the process that I'm at. I'm not drafting anything right now. I would say that I'm working on draft two of Gas Station, but let's be real, I've written one chapter of that. Hopefully February will be better on the writing end of things, but I've really just been having a slower writing start to the year. But it's funny because if I think about January of last year, I don't think I wrote anything and I wasn't even thinking about projects or anything like that. The reading, I, I don't even know what I've been doing this month because I have not finished a book. I am as shocked as you are, probably more shocked. I usually read like 10 books a month, usually. And that's not me being like, grind, hustle, read a book a day. That's just like the average pace at which I read. I've been reading, but not anything specifically. So I guess, okay, no, I finished one book. I read Crescent City on audio. And I'd already read it, it's a reread. It's not even a new read. Um, I don't know what happened. Actually, I do, and it is called Dance Moms. That's what I've been watching. Sue me, okay? I read, and yesterday, Crescent City 3 came out, and I read, like, 80% of that in one day, which was a journey. And I started reading, what is it, Serpent and the Wings of Night? And I'm working on it. But it's not, I haven't had that experience of sitting down and reading a whole book in a day, which I typically do multiple times a month. So working on reading that one, it's fine. It's a fantasy. I'm also listening to this thriller and this one I'll be done with shortly too. So like I'll almost be done. It's called, Do You Wanna Know a Secret? by Frieda McFadden. And it is a thriller that's like, this woman is getting mysterious text messages and she knows a lot of, she's being framed for a crime. It's very like housewife thrillers. There's this whole genre of thrillers where it's like, she was the perfect wife. She baked the cookies and took care of the children and went to PTA, but there's something hidden deep beneath the surface and maybe a body in her backyard. That's the energy. I can name like 18 different thrill, maybe five different thrillers like that. I read a lot of like Kindle Unlimited Fantasy, but I didn't actually read it. Okay, listen, here's what I was looking for. If you have a rec for this, comment down below. This is gonna be so specific and random. I was looking for a book on Kindle Unlimited. It wasn't a specific book. This is why I shouldn't be on Kindle Unlimited because I'll start to trope hunt because I was just searching for a trope. What I wanted was a fantasy or action adventure, duology, trilogy series, whatever, where at the end of one book, a main character is kidnapped. And then at the beginning of the next book, it's like a dual POV. One of the purse people is like searching for the other one. And then the other POV is like, oh, I'm kidnapped and sad, but like maybe we'll be together. And then like maybe 
25% of the way through the book they are reunited and the reunion is really good. That is what I was looking for and so I would like this is so bad of me and this is I'm like it's a bad habit I'm trying to stop like I would and open a Kindle Unlimited book that I was like maybe this will happen at the end and then I would like command F like kidnap or like danger and then I would like search through to see which is such a toxic way to read books and as an author or a writer myself I'm embarrassed but that's what I, so if you have a recommendation drop it down below so I read like 30 pages of like five no more than that ton of different random Kindle Unlimited books okay but it's actually wild though because when I was in looking at all these books so many books this was the plot are you ready I'm a princess but like actually maybe I'm dangerous and then the other guy is like, like the other POV and he's like, I'm a like shadow daddy and I'm evil and, but maybe I'm not. And I'm coming to steal the princess because I want to get revenge on the king, right? Slay. And then he kidnaps the, I'm not kidding you. This is a plot of like seven different books that I read. And he like, oh, kidnapped you, but it's actually not a kidnapping. It's like a casual like, oh, you're on my boat now but we're all friends and like oh maybe there's a sultry gaze and like okay the ship is being attacked by something suspicious and then oh my gosh you have powers like what and we're actually bonded and like actually did you know that the king is actually evil and we're bonded and we're in love and we're in love and we're kissing give it a rest okay I enjoy it but we need to take a breath okay so I read several random Kindle Unlimited books like that. I also read a mafia romance and it was enough for me. I didn't actually read the whole thing. That's why I'm not counting it. I don't even know what it's called. Kindle Unlimited is bad for me. Okay. The thing about mafia romances though, everyone, it is so like, <laughs> the one I was reading, it'll be like one page, the most vile, horrible violence and bedroom behavior that you've ever read in your entire life. The words that these men are saying, jail. And then the next page, the female main character will be like, I just like want to do good things in the world. And like, everyone deserves to be happy. And I'm like, one page ago, I was reading the most like I needed to wash my eyes. Anyway, so that was my reading for the month. I have so many books that I just haven't read. That's where we're at with reading life. I don't know. Um, well, actually I do know. So, so I am moving, probably. It's one of those processes that takes a long time and I didn't really expect to move, but I am. So that kind of took up a big portion of the month was like looking at places, dealing with all of that financial stuff. Let me tell you, moving out of an apartment, no, specifically dealing with property management companies, they're gonna find themselves in a book written by me because they're requiring me to steam clean the carpets on my own expense. I don't know why I'm so appalled by that, but they're also like buy new, stove lids i'm like no you can use the same stove lids that i did stove lid whatever it is such a journey everyone but just so a heads up for the next month i still plan to do the same amount of content but there's likely going to be like a moving packing unpacking sort of element to that so i'm not moving into like a different city i'm just moving to a different place in the like that's closer to where i work so um yeah but that, what else is going on in my life? I haven't really been going to the gym. Did you want to know? I don't know. It's been kind of a um, weird start to the year. I feel like I ended December and I was like, I'm going to do all these things in January. And then I just really didn't. But I, but it's not like I've not been doing them. Like, it's just been really hard to get into a routine in a, in a way that's like, there's just been stuff going on, you know, so I can't really stop. And now I'm moving. So it's like, do I even bother? <laughs> but um, I'm really hoping that in a month I'm coming to you saying I read 10 books and I have finished copy edits of my book and I'm sending it to literary agents and I won the lottery. I don't know. That's the goal for next month. How has your month been? This was the most chaotic video I filmed in a while, but it's, I'm tired. Bye. <laughs>